there's an old popular tweet from the lead developer of Godot saying that, well, people ask about object pooling. This is a process of you pre-create bullets, for example, and you keep them in memory and you reuse them. You never call Q3 on them. And he was saying you don't need to do that in Godot because uh, creating and freeing things is fast and there is no garbage collector in GDScript. Uh, so this is something I covered on the video Godot GDScript Pro Tips on the GDQuest channel, and I'll link to this in the description below. Here is a comparison of firing thousands of bullets per second, first, in this example, without any pooling. So you're going to see uh, the performance tanks really quickly when I have lots of bullets going around. So there are thousands of them, uh, lots of them stacked up, and you guess, get this weird performance slowdown. And here's another example with pooling and you can see a performance difference between the two so pooling can give you a performance boost but the question is do you need this performance boost uh, this is an example of an actual game with uh, some monsters with ai and we are firing and spawning lots of entities and well I'm firing lots of things and there's absolutely no pooling and there's absolutely no performance problem. Why? Because performance issues start when there are really lots and lots and lots of bullets or uh, things being created and freed every frame. So when Godot's lead developer says that you don't need pooling, it's that most likely you don't need to worry about it because you won't hit performance issues. However, you can use pooling to increase your game's performance in some situations. The thing is, there are some languages that use an algorithm to manage memory that will pause the program at some point to clean up everything that was deleted, and this can cause freeze frames in games. So this can happen with the C-sharp programming language, and in those languages, pooling is absolutely necessary, but it's not for the frame-to-frame -frame performance, it's to avoid those freezes in the game. On this channel, I answer your questions about Godot and game development in less than five minutes. If you have any question, please ask in the comments below. For more and higher quality videos about Godot and game development, check out our main channel, GD Quest. You'll find a link in the description below.